Zosi Baraka de Rantele, Kiama Marabara, Stoka Baraka de Zelebria Barabara. Mela branta libria babora boshi libre de kelebria mamana manama rabasto kundi libria bria 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 makani to libranta libria babara bana branta libria bria 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 zaman to ni mini 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 akapara kadi zelebria babara mento libria babara di zelebria di azuzumana mana mana madi ye labranta labrando robo Frele ke de bran tere bria baba la kana badi mendi ri bi ri bi ya bando kora di frele ke de bran tana bran di ri bi kapaya. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Kale ma ze vede 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 bo shasta bran tola bran tala ba ma kon di ri bi Zabani mi anto sheke la branta la babora boshi la bahabada bada le branta le bria babo zabani mi anto zibede bede 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 ma kora basi frala gade branta la branta la baba mendiri diri paragado bredi zavala gada branta le babo good morning everyone the Lord richly bless you the Lord 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 bless you. The Lord bless you. Uh, today is our 15th day. Uh, we are moving. And this morning, I want us to lift up Esther. Good morning. Liberty. Good morning. Jenna. Good morning. Amema. Good morning. Rose. Good morning. Um, Emilia. Good morning. I want us to lift up our voices this morning. And um, Jennifer, good morning. Tina, good morning. I want us to lift up our voices this morning. And I want us to begin to bless the name of the Lord. Woman of God, the Lord bless you. Woman of God, the Lord bless you. Abnarus, I want us to lift up our voice this morning. And I want us to give God every praise and every worship you can give unto the Lord. Lift up your voice with me. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Come on, let's do it together. Lift up your voice with me. Father, we want to give you praise this morning. We want to give you worship this morning. Father, we magnify your glorious name. Come on, come on, everybody. Forget about, um, you know, um, whatever issue you are encountering. Forget about every problem you are facing. Because let me say something to you. The one that you and I have come before, he's the one that have everything in his hands. Are you listening to me? The one we have come before, he's the one that have everything in his hands. And so I want you to forget about your problem, whatever problem it may be. Just put it somewhere. Don't allow any form of distraction. Don't allow any form of distraction whatsoever. I want you to lift up your voice and let's begin to glorify the king. Come on, let's do it together. Father, we glorify you this morning. We lift up your name. We hallow your name. Father, we thank you for life. We thank you for strength. We thank you for grace. Who is like unto you among the gods? You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praise. You do wonders in the midst of your people. Awesome God, mighty God, excellent Father. Come on, this morning, I want you to worship God with me. Can you say thank you to the Lord? Come on. Come on, come on, let's do it together. I want to do it with you. We are doing it together. Come on, lift up your voice. Let's magnify him. Come on, let's exalt the king. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Let's praise his glorious name. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your voice with me. La brante meni avini adovente kosto prala gadima habadaya. Brantombre elevele me abadi maku pele gadi varonda shte prala gadi. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, lift up your voice. Father, this morning, Juliana is saying we glorify your name. Yes, we do. Come on, lift up your voice with me this morning. Come on, come on, come on. We give you the praise. 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 Lion of Judah, we give you the praise. Come on, lift up your voice this morning. Come on, lift up your voice. Don't allow anything to distract you. Come on, lift up your voice. Do not allow anything to distract you. Lift up your voice. Begin Begin to worship him. Begin to honor him. Begin to glorify him. Begin to uh, magnify him. Come on, lift up your voice with me this morning. Uh, today um, is our 15th day in our 21 days of fasting. Today is the 15th day. I want you to lift up your voice with me. I want you to magnify the king. Come on, let's give him the praise. Come on, come on, let's do it together. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefit. His benefit of life, his benefit of health, his benefit of abundance, his benefit of protection, protection. Come on, lift up your voice with me this morning. Come on, let's do it together. Today is our, our um, 15th day of our fasting. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your voice. Let the high praises of God be in your mouth and the two-edged sword in your hands. Father, this morning, my God, yes, Lord, your daughter, Abuna Rose, is saying you are worthy, Lord. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Let's do it together. Come on, let's do it together. We give you the glory. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, magnify the king. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Come on, we give you the praise this morning, covenant keeper. We give you the praise, way maker. We give you the praise, lion of Judah. We give you the praise, the high and lofty one. We give you the praise, our soon coming king. We give you the praise, our hope for tomorrow. We give you the praise. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Come on, thank the Lord this morning. Let's take some time thanking the Lord for his faithfulness, thanking the Lord for his goodness, thanking the Lord for his grace and mercy. Come on, lift up your voice wherever you are. It doesn't matter wherever you are. You can praise God. You can worship him in the kitchen. You can do that whilst you are taking your shower. I mean, I mean, there is no, there is no um, limitation or there is no restriction as to the, the place you ought to be to give him worship. Come on, lift up your voice wherever you are. Come on, let him know that he's great. Let him know that you appreciate him. Let him know that you are you are grateful. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Come on, let's magnify him together. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the honor. We join our voices with the voice of angels above. And Father, yes, Lord, we join our voices with the two, my God, the twenty and the four elders. And we bow and we lay our crowns. My God, we have nothing, God, and we are nothing without you. We lay our crowns before you, oh God, and we say, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and is to come. Come on, lift up your voice with me this morning. My God, my God, my Father, we say glory, 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 immortal, invisible, the only wise God. We give you glory, we give you praise. We give you honor, we give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory, we thank you, Lord. Ah, Rose of Sharon, we worship you. Come on, lift up your voice with me this morning. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Lift up your voice with me. The whole earth is filled ah, with your glory. Lift up your voice. Father, my God, this morning Edna is saying that you are her protector. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Father, yes, Lord, Benedict is saying, uh, my God, Hosanna to the King of Glory. Amocho is saying, powerful is our God. Hallelujah. Father, this morning I join uh, my voice with Pearl and she's saying, holy, 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 
holy, holy, holy. Father, yes, Lord. Kadim vrendi gede grandi. Apanda vrele gede shta kronda libri ibahaya. Mabonda brandi vendi ila gadi zezoza mantone. Ambrante ni mi ipradosh dogoha. La gradi vreli mi intoni mi ipara. Father, Theophilus is saying praises are be to our Lord, our King. Amando bredi vandi gede grando shevele gade. Ma prando meri iliza zamayan kontana maha. Father Juliana is saying you are her comforter. My God, Katima is saying you are the lifter up of her head. Father, yes, Lord, Edith is saying we worship you, Lord. Marondi brendi vendia sosto brahade gede. Father Abna is saying covenant keeping God. Ma brondi brende kata. Father Fantazwa is saying El El Shaddai. We praise you. Come on, lift up your voice. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Father, tonight your daughter Evelyn is saying you are God from beginning to the end. There is no one. Makuli grende vrende zevalagadije grandoleme. Father Okechi is saying that you are the incompatible God. Raki bradivra lege demrahanto shtebaha. Ma prando brendi ketebra. Father Edith is saying that my God, that my very present help in trouble. Father, this morning we give you the glory. Father, to this morning we give you the praise. If our eyes have seen a new day, my God, we have every reason, my God, and we have every cause, oh God, to lift up our voice and to give you the praise. Therefore, this morning we give you praise. Father, yes, to Nephia is saying uh, that you are the keeper of her soul. My God, we give you all the worship. Come on, come on, lift up your voice with me. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Father, yes, Lord, Awula is saying uh, that you are her provider. Lembranto meni iki baragadia. Father Jessica is saying, uh, ah, you are her way maker. Labradimi kipadozo. Father Jenny is saying, Lion of Judah, that is who you are. Ilimbrante mrahande vari adozege de granto. Come on, lift up your voice with me. Come on, let's magnify God. Come on, come on, come on, lift up your voice. Wherever you are, marvel. My God is saying, we lift you high, most high God. Le gradimre ede zivadua. Father Equia is saying, the merciful God, we bless your holy name. Come on, come on, come on, let's do it. Ajua is saying hallelujah to the king of kings. Labradume e la granta mahadi. Ivrali gade zavondi kanta labranda. Fadan cobra dimre e gede granto mezivede. I paradimre de gede granto. A paragadi varu ili badumre en de nahaya. Mantani minimi apato. Father Agnes is saying hallelujah. 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 Remazo vrali mrende kapani. Father yes Lord. For Tazwa is saying. Ah Jehovah Gibor. You are Lord. Kandania zivrehele. Come on. Come on. Let's do it together. La crodi brente kaparagadi. Father Mavis is saying. Oh my all in all. Hallelujah. La pado bredimi kipato. Father Edna is saying. Wonderful father. We adore you. Father this morning. My God. La crado branti vendi atala. Father Natali is saying hallelujah to the creator. Raki bronta brandi vedi ada. Man toni minimi ipa. Father Gloria is saying you are her refuge. Makola ba is saying you are her sustainer. My God liberty is saying my God that you are a beneza. Le kado bradi venimi iga divantoza. La gadi je 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 mantomre e vedi gadi. Ma prado bra ila kadabranto. Ma kante ne brendi vreli gedia zuzumaya pra. Father Sarah is saying, Father, you are God all by yourself. Hey, Katashtomaha, you sit in the circle of the earth and you do that which pleases you. No man, my God, advises you. You are God. You are God. You are God. Katori Ivandi Zeze, Ma Pradazi Granta Shtepradaka, La Brande Bakobra. Father Ble is saying, My forever rewarding Father. Oh, I love that. La Kule Gredi Brente, Mako Pradizaba. Father, favor is saying, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, my provider. Lambranto, many Eva Vadiza, Zoma Atish Takadi, Le Grado Branta Maha. Father Whitaker is saying, Oh, my ever present help in time of need. Mako, Father Roda is saying, My light in the darkness. My God, this morning, hear my God, the praises of your.
your people for they hear my God the heart of your people through worship and may you come in our midst oh God may you take your place take your rightful place my God have your way tonight have your way tonight have your way tonight have your way uh, tonight kadi vedi la kronda brato mazugidi ila gada branto makule vrendi itishtaka la gonde la brado mra ivan diri azo gadaya father akosia say my god my king my all jesus i praise you la kro bredi vrante ke stekranta la badi ma brondi iviri adu zavradi zagada granto mako baba babadi is a badia father pastor joy is saying my rock of escape la parondi vini atanana na makotone abradozi omaha is saying uh, the one who was uh, and who is to come a call even the atashtema a kandiri di ikapa makima say the lord of hosts kasto brante gede grado a pradi melen grande stefra la badi bahaya baha in the name of Jesus, I want us this morning, we are going to soak ourselves in the blood. You are going to cover your entire body, your entire life, everything that God has given you. You are bringing that thing under the coverings of the blood. You are praying and saying, Lord, I cover myself. I cover my environment. I cover my home. In the name of Jesus, whatever God has blessed you with, I want you to begin to pray. Now invoke the blood. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Hide yourself under the blood. Under the blood where the enemy cannot find you. Where wicked hands cannot touch you. Come on, bring yourself under the blood. Come on, bring yourself under the blood. Come on, bring yourself under the blood. Rakim re ivadi azomahata. Father, yes, Lord, this morning I bring myself before you and I soak myself in the blood of Jesus from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Makadi bredi vadumaha. My God, let the blood cover me. Let the blood cover me. Hide me under the blood. Le bradi meke paragadi zabranto. My God, may my children be covered. May they be hidden under the blood. May my husband be covered. May he be hidden under the blood. Father, hide your people under the blood. The blood of Jesus. 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 Come on, begin to cover yourself. Child of God, don't joke around at all. Do not joke around at all. Now, the Bible declares that when the sons of God presented themselves before God, Satan also showed up. And so there is a possibility, my God, there is a possibility, there is a 99.9 .9 possibility that there are spirits that have also guarded because we have guarded in the name of the Lord. They have also guarded. Therefore, I want you to bring yourself under the blood. Cover yourself under the blood that no arrow will be able to touch you. In the name of Jesus, Katim Branto Zivariate, Man prande vre ikakasto brahada la kule brendi mini ika patosta maha. Father, I want to thank you that from the beginning of December, from the first of December till now, as we started the twenty-one days of fasting, you have covered us. Kato ma kundi ribi eka pa la brado zakranta stele meha ma kundi ribi eka pa adorobo zambrante deme kiprando. Let the blood cover you. May you be covered under the blood. Bring your children under the blood. Bring your husband under the blood. Bring your family under the blood. Bring your brothers under the blood. Bring your sisters under the blood. Bring your cousins under the blood. Let the blood of Jesus, my God, like a canopy, may the blood cover you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Katoshte Pradi. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, cover yourself, cover yourself, cover yourself, cover yourself, cover yourself, cover yourself, bring yourself under the blood. Kadi Brende, Makuna Bradi, Vadoshta Branta Kabaha. Father, yes, Lord, wherever I am sitting, my God, let this whole place be saturated. My God, with the power, Makum Brandi Vrele, let angels, Kato Bradi Makam, be released on an assignment. 
Amen. La grande vrenne de Katash de Grant Abrahado. La Prado menemi Ivan de Kede Grant. Father, the blood, let the blood of Jesus, my God, like a wave, like a tsunami. My God, let it flood this whole house. May this whole house be flooded. My God, with the blood of Jesus. La Vradim Rente Stepranda Kapatostele. A Pando Quan Didibi is a Vandiato. Mika prando robo si krandi di brie kapa. Mazo me krado zavranta brahadeshte me. Lambranto brendi ki paragada branto ma. Okay, la brati brende vari, la vaso zo mala grandi brente ke branta kapa, ma zo branti di brie ke paragadia, ravreli adoza vatushta kranta maha, a pando brendi bre i leveli, a totonimi ivandi adoro kapranda zaya, la branto brente ka paragadi zabra, lembronte brende, a tonimi ki panda kada granta, a panda kuadi ze vandiri adoza batoko, la granta stefra lima di bre i kaparagado, paromandi. Di brante krabado vre elagada. Hey, under the blood, under the blood, under the blood, under the blood, under the blood. We cover ourselves under the blood. Rakam ranto bre di brandi varagadia. We bring our children under the blood. Raka bronta brata. Lampan tone meke pradi zeveni atosh demraha. La ko madi badomaha. Makan do vendi atosh takra dobre. Li branta brante kaparagada. Oh Lord our God. Randa zivon. We thank you, 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 we thank you for the blood, we thank you for the blood, we thank you for the blood of Jesus, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We are praying the scripture this morning, Psalm 140, verse 7. Psalm 140, verse 7. He says, O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of of battle. Look at it again. Psalm 140 verse 7. He says, O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. You are lifting up your voice. You are saying that, Lord, may my head be covered because I am about to enter my God into battle. Father, cover my head. Uh, Let me say something to you. Do you you know everybody do you know that it does if your hand is cut off you will survive if they cut off your feet you will survive if they cut off maybe your fingers you will survive they cut off certain parts of your body you will survive but when your head is cut off you will never survive when your head is cut off, that's it. You gone. And so, and so look at it. So David is saying, Oh God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. You are asking the Lord that Father, may my head be covered, cover my head, because you are about listen, these are the days of battle. If you don't know, let me say this to you. These are the days of battle. And so may the Lord cover your head. May your head be covered. Come on, if you can, put your right hand on your head and say, Lord, cover my head in these days of battle. May my head be covered. Come on, lift up your heart. Lift up your voice. Come on, put your right hand on your head if you can and say that Lord, Lord, cover my head. May my head be covered. Oh God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. My God, we are in the days of battle. Father, battles are raging all around us. Family battles, marital battles. My God, I katombra for the battles in ministry, my God, kata zuvandi ete shteka krab la bradome eke patu zabato la kande vandi atubre eke de. Father, cover our heads in these days of battle. May our heads be covered. 
oh God, la kubra dibi ki paradada, mantonibri ipanda kadogronte, a paro, a padia, la vundi ikende jagadagranto mehede. Father, cover our head, cover our head, may our heads be covered, kadubre, la vranto ste kratu brantamaha, ma pradize granta la mabandi dibiketo. Father, our heads are so important, my Lord and my God, and David understood, my God, what it means to lose your head. David understood what it means when your head is dry. Therefore, David lifted up his voice and he says, Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. There is something about my head. I prayed this morning, oh God, cover my head, cover my head in these days of battle. La cobra di mele cranda stefra la cata. A pando coni idedi. La bradi varu i canto sta prata. May my head be covered up. Come on, cover the head of your children. Come on, cover the head of your husband. Come on, cover the head of your wife. May our heads be covered. A cola bradi mele evari adosh tamranto maha. Pa coni iliva vadis do gondali. Raka bradi vradosh ta clonta branta. A panda qua biri ila. Agadimle egede, ma kanda na na ma zokronda shta pradomi ita, ma boni ivani ite, atona na na ma ivani atoni ipanda kwa rakobra dimre eke dasto branta ka, a maroviri atash dabra la granto brende kete granto, a panda vwendi aku ala kala granta maha. Oh, Calabrato, prendi vrele ke te shtebrahabadoa. La manto ni mini mini miya kaparakata. In the name of Jesus, now as we have prayed, please, who, who is calling me at this time of the night? Oh, precious Lord. Now, as, as our heads are covered this morning, we are going to pray. Now, the Bible declares, and I say it again, um, in Job chapter 2, that when the sons of God are presented themselves before God, uh, Satan, the Bible says, Satan also showed up. Now, we are praying this morning, any evil gathering against our gathering, Ah, uh, yeah. Any evil gathering against our gathering this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus, may they be scattered by fire. May they be scattered by fire. Any evil gathering, any satanic gathering, witchcraft gathering, occultic gathering, let them scatter by fire. We are overturning their conference tables. La cobre di vedi atoka de grato. Mako mali vadumaha. Come on lift up your voice. Uh, let every gathering, every gathering, my God, every gathering, satanic gathering, my God, occultic gathering, witchcraft gathering, my God, let them scatter. My God, release fire. We release fire into their gathering. Come on, everybody, begin to pray. Wherever you are, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Every gathering, every gathering, Every gathering, any satanic eye, my God that is watching, my God, the satellite, the spiritual satellite, my God, we command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus, wherever they have gathered. La prando breiga dava. Father, we declare in our atmosphere, we declare in our neighborhood, we declare, Father, wherever your people, my God, has tuned in from, we declare that that atmosphere is a no fly zone. That atmosphere. Atmosphere, my God is a no fly zone because of the power in the blood of Jesus. La cumbra divandi getegra, la stofato capranta capa. Every demonic meeting, every satanic meeting, every satanic gathering, my God, we command them to scatter by fire, by lightning, by fire, by tender. Let them scatter now. La prodi varu kata, a pando cronde vrele getegranto. Tonemi ki pradi zevrato la kromba zovranda katagrata elei makumrende vrele la zozo maru kredish de frala bahaya Isaiah chapter eight Isaiah chapter eight we are praying Isaiah chapter eight and you know and I'm repeating myself there are some 
who have tuned in for the first time and they don't even know that we are on a fast we are on the 21 days of fasting we started december 1st and today is the 15th day and so we do midnight prayer and so look at it here isaiah chapter 8 look at the verse 9 it says associate yourself O ye people and ye shall be broken in pieces and give ye, O ye of far country, get yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Get yourself, and ye shall be broken in pieces. We are declaring this morning any gathering, whether it is uh, they are men, whether they are women, every gathering, any gathering, my God, that is against our gathering. Any gathering that is against our gathering, let the fire of God scatter that meeting in the mighty name of Jesus let the lightning of God strike at that meeting scattering them by fire uh, the Bible declares that associate yourselves uh, bring yourselves together warlocks and witches uh, and wizards my God uh, any form of group uh, my God bring yourself together gather yourself together and you shall be broken tonight in the name of jesus Raki Brantobaha, we break your ranks we break we break we break we break we scatter makupato vedi adata lakundi ebrendi varu la zazakota sto pradimikete la bradumre ekepata come on command every meeting to scatter command fire to scatter every meeting any satanic meetings, meetings on the phone, meetings in the home, meetings at halls, meetings that are taking place in the realms of the spirit. As I am talking to you, there is a meeting going on. Witches have gathered, but tonight, uh, let their gathering scatter. Let fire enter that gathering in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire enter. Enter that gathering. Scatter them by fire. Burn them tonight. Rakupedi avadu ataya akuli ili atatanimike lavavo voro ilakadosh to grondo apandi akadia le vavaru ikadosh to kradimi i la pando bredi varu ata my God any meeting pako bredi meke pa my God meetings at, at every meeting my God there are discussions and there are decisions I pray tonight in the name of Jesus any meeting that is going on. Father, your words and let them gather themselves together and they shall be cut off. Let them gather themselves together and they shall be broken into pieces. I pray today in the name of Jesus, any gathering, my God, la paru vevediata, la kunda ila gadegrete, la zazobrandi vendi atushtokro, la vundi ima kopatushta brantakata, adora kapandiede, every meeting, my my God, every meeting, every meeting, Mako Pradi make de gra la Pradeza Kronta Rababandia La Bradumre Eke Patu Zegede Rakra Bazu Brantamaha. I pray for you this morning that anybody that has gathered against you may they fall for your sake. Anybody that have gathered against us may they fall for our sake in the evil gathering. La Bradi make de stafra la copanto bradi any meeting any gathering let them scatter by lightning in the name of jesus now this evening we were on the prayer line and uh, we were just about to get off the prayer line and uh, the lord showed me a marketplace a marketplace and um I was wondering why am I looking at a marketplace? What what's what about a marketplace? And the spirit of God started ministering to me. A marketplace, when you go to a marketplace, either you are there to sell or you are there to buy. Two things. A marketplace is either you are buying or you are selling. And the Lord said, There are people. That will be on tonight or this morning. 
that keep seeing themselves in dreams standing at the market at the market and you've been wondering why do you see or keep seeing yourself in the market something diabolical is going on we are going to pray this morning you and I, we are going to pray. Our prayer is this. If you are one of those people who keep having dreams and seeing yourself in the market, you see yourself in the market. Yeah, that's what it is. You see yourself in the market. Either you are buying something or in the market, you just see yourself in the market. And either you are buying something or you are selling. Now, I kept asking questions. What's going on? Hmm. I kept asking, who is that? Gladys. Gladys. Okay, Gladys, it's you. I kept asking, that, Lord, why, why the market? What, what's going on? What's going on here in the marketplace? There are some that the enemy, what God literally gave you, the enemy have taken and the enemy have sold it. Who is that? Oritha. Mm. <laughs> hmm. There has been some exchange. Something that God gave you. Julie, it's you. Awesome. Three. Something that God gave you. A precious thing that God gave you. Your enemies have succeeded in taking it from you. And it is in the marketplace. Spiritually, it is in the marketplace. And it's being sold. There are some that have not given your life completely to Christ. And so, spiritually, you are sold. They've sold you. And so, you are standing in the marketplace and you are wondering, why am I in the marketplace? They are only waiting for a buyer to come by you. You are in the marketplace. Wombs have been sold in the marketplace. Destinies have been sold in the marketplace. You are going to pray this morning. <laughs> Somebody, Tina said what? That's a deep revelation, woman of God. You, <clears throat> in the marketplace, we are going to pray. Who said me? Precious, you too. So how many people? Four people? <clears throat> you are going to pray. Now, in the marketplace, let me sit up well. In the marketplace, there is always somebody that goes there. Whoever is the boss spiritually in your family. Sometimes when they realize that they've done everything to fight you, to do whatever, and they can't do it, sometimes they don't want you to identify or know what they are really doing. And so they send you to somebody else. And so once you are praying, and maybe you had a dream, for example, and you saw your sister. Whilst you are praying and buying it, I buy my sister. Any word, any spirit using my sister in the name of Jesus. And whatever my sister have, I, I, I command fire to consume my sister. My darling, the reason why that particular person you are praying is still there and nothing is happening is because whatever you think is with her or him, no, it's not with her or him. They have also sold you to somebody else. Oh, God. Oh, God. They have also sold you to somebody else. And so you are in your job and all of a sudden you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand why all of a sudden somebody who is not even part of your family, somebody who is not even connected to you, I mean, they see you and they hate you to the core and you are asking yourself, what is going on? Every little thing you do becomes a big problem. You know why? You have been sold. They have literally sold you to that particular person and that person will make your life a living hell. We are praying this morning. We are 
entering into the spiritual marketplace, anything that belongs to you that is being auctioned or auctioned in the spiritual market, hey, today we are demanding, we are using the blood. Remember the blood of Jesus paid our debt. Katumele Bradivaha. The blood has already paid our debt. We are praying this morning. We use the blood of Jesus. We buy back. We buy back. We buy back anything that belongs to us that have been sold, my God, in the spiritual market. We use the blood. We use the blood. We buy it back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Begin to fire prayer. Fire prayer this morning. My God, enter into any market. My God, spiritually, any market. My God, that they have auctioned. Any market, they are selling your glory. They are selling, they are selling your children's glory. They are made everything that belongs to you. Any good thing that will cause you to be normal in life, to be stable in life. Ah, oh my God, they have taken it and it is in the marketplace. This morning, enter. Go there. You let your prayer enter. Let your prayer enter that marketplace. Come on, let your prayer enter. Open your mouth wherever you are, child of God. Let your prayer enter that marketplace. Let the blood of Jesus buy it back. Katumre Ivadumaha. Come on, pray, child of God. Don't joke around. If you fast and you don't pray, you are only going on a hunger strike. Are you listening? If you are fasting and you are not adding prayer, you are only going on a hunger strike. Now, I refuse to go on a hunger strike. I double, triple, quadruple refuse to go on a hunger strike. Now, lift up your voice wherever you are. Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Come on, lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Enter, enter, enter. Enter there. Enter there. Enter there boldly. Enter there. Enter there. If they are bold, you are also bold because you are not the wicked. The Bible declares that the wicked why God run when nobody pursue it, but the righteous is bold as a liar. Are you a righteous man? Yes. Are you a righteous woman? Yes. Therefore, boldness. Be bold. My God, be bold. Be bold because your senior brother, Jesus, is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Come on, enter that market. Any market. Any market. La bandi veni atosh tomaha. I want you to understand that what you see in the physical is exactly what happens in the spirit. There is a spiritual market and things are sold. My God, body parts are sold even as it is in the natural. So it is in the spirit. Father, this morning, in the name of Jesus, Father, your word, my God, in my mouth and in my hands is like a sword and I enter my God. God into every market. Pakuli vredi gadabranta. The market in my village. The market in my country. The market in the city. La pradime le gran tomaha. My God, anywhere in the world, my God, that goods have been sold. My God, today we enter, we pursue, and we overtake, and we recover all. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, come on, lift up your voice. Come on, begin to pray. Don't be asking for prayer. You know how to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. We are scattered all over the world, but our prayer is making impact. Come on, lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your voice. Begin to pray. Child of God, don't waste time. Child of God, don't be lazy. If you are lying down, you will sleep. Get up and begin to walk back and forth. Begin to pace back and forth. Come on, come on. Enter that market. Come on, enter, 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 enter. Begin, begin, begin. Again, my God, take, take now, take now. La Bradumre Eke Parakata. Father, yes, Lord, as we enter and we take, my God, we are not taking any damaged goods. No, we are not taking any damaged goods. Father, 
we want our stuff uh, in its original state in the mighty name of Jesus la kato brendi venia makunde vrele katista bratoko la branto maha atondi libri eke para gadaya alo bradobre eke manto maha father this morning uh, we are not taking our stuff we are not taking our goods uh, my god and it is damaged no after they have messed up with it no 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 we are taking it in its original state uh, my god in its original state i kado bradi mavadu akundi etetetete la branto mehe pata la krando vredi ato zambranto mehe la kola bradi meke la kulegede la kulegede apando kwadi zavranta kapaha ado doroko maha adandiri i kapo mantoru wadi zeviri i kapo la branto dimini i kapo paraga di brente prada kadaya in the name of jesus now do you know we are still praying today we are not staying on yesterday and a day before we were on for almost three hours we are not staying that long and so every prayer point i want you to pray like 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 there is no tomorrow i wherever you are you know you, you are watching from i want you to pray like there is no tomorrow now there are some stuff that are are in the marketplace it is not everything that is in the marketplace there are stuff that your enemies have swallowed listen to me there are stuff that your enemies have swallowed they have swallowed them and so you see them walking back and forth they are smiling with you um i i, I got um, um 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 a message from um a lady and and she says um, um you know after she's been married for what 22 or 23 years all of a sudden her wedding ring disappeared from her hand <laughs> Her wedding ring has disappeared, I mean, from her hand. I mean, it's not like, oh, you know, she, she, she took it off and she put it somewhere and the thing is, you know, it's, it's, I mean, no, no, she said it's been on her hand and the thing has disappeared. If I say disappeared, the thing has disappeared and this lady is, is worried. It's, I mean, it's totally worried. How can my ring just disappear from my hand? And, and it did not disappear because maybe she was sleeping and her husband took it off. And the man was not even... Where, where is the ring? The ring has disappeared from her hand. We are lifting up our voice this morning. <laughs> we are praying. Job chapter 20, verse 15. He has swallowed down riches. He will vomit it out again. <laughs> Your enemy and my enemy, they have swallowed down riches. And the Bible says they will vomit it up again. God shall cast it out of their belly. You and I are going to lift up our voice this morning. Any riches that the enemy have swallowed, any riches, hey, some, some of us, hey, if people look at us, hey, they think that we have so much money, that money is coming from your nose, money is coming from your ears, money is coming from everywhere, but you are the only one who knows you are struggling. And when people see you, they say, oh, my sister, you look so good. My brother, you look so good. And, 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 and the day you don't have money is when people are coming and they want to borrow money from you. But you know that you don't even have a dollar. You don't even have two pennies to rub together. Now, they have swallowed down riches. They will vomit it up again. He says, God shall cast it out of their belly. You are lifting up your voice. You are kidding. That I said, mine came out of my finger. It came out of a finger and it was on the floor. Hey. <laughs> there are certain things you, you, you encounter them. You think it's a joke. No, it's not a joke. Nuh-uh. 
it is not a joke. You are lifting up your voice. He has swallowed down riches. Who the he is? Who is the he that have swallowed down riches? Hey, whatever riches they have swallowed, my God, we set fire into their belly. Let fire enter their stomach. Let fire enter their stomach. Unquenchable fire. Let it enter their stomach and let them vomit. They have to vomit that which they have swallowed. They have to vomit your ring. They have to vomit your money. They have to vomit your glory. The, everything they have swallowed, they have to vomit it out. Lift up your voice and let's begin to pray. Oh, I'm telling you, woman of God. <laughs> woman of God, I am telling you. Lift up your voice. Come on. Let's pray. My God, Job chapter 20 verse 15. He has swallowed down riches. He has swallowed it down. It is in his belly. He's walking around with it. And you and I, we are struggling. And they, the, the good, the gold, my God, your wealth, everything that will make you satisfied here on earth is in somebody's belly. And they are walking around with with it. But today, Kadumi Iparaka, Lavava Varokoto, Mabrandi Brandi Gedegrados Tomraha, Apakote Brante. Let me tell you something. Uh, I was, I was, uh, oh God, Father, help me. Father, help me. Help me, Jesus. I was dealing with an issue. And uh, this particular person here has been believing God for something for a very long time. Only for the person to have a dream. That that which she's believing for is she had a dream that it is in a family member's armpit and the person is walking around with it. <laughs> it is it's it's in a family member's armpit. The person have the thing under their armpit and they are walking around with it. Are you listening to me? They are walking around with it. Now, this thing I am about to say to you right now happened to myself. Now, God shows me in a dream that wallet, a wallet, and, and, and I saw a family member pick up the wallet. And in the dream, I said, I would, I would just do something to this particular person they will never forget. And so I went to the person and I said, where is my wallet? And then the person go, your wallet? I said, yes, where is my wallet? And the person goes, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, guess what? I said, you, you might have been fooling everybody, but you can't fool me. I said, give me my wallet. And so he says, I don't, I don't have, I don't have, you know, I don't have your wallet. I have not seen your wallet. Oh my God. Oh, some Holy Ghost slap. And bam, and bam. I said, give me my wallet. Now I took my wallet. And, and when I took, oh my darling, I took my wallet. And when I took my wallet, the person said, you look, hey, 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 my ear, you've hit me, you've hit me. And you know, the person started talking and talking and talking and what the, I mean, the person literally was following me talking and I, I got angry. I was angry. I didn't even know I could get angry like that. Oh, my father, my fighter. I was so angry and I pushed the person and the person fell. The next day, it was the same person's phone call that woke me up. <laughs> And what did the person say? Oh, hi, how are you? I said, and I was shocked that I see the person in my dream and the following month, the next month, not the next month, a couple of hours, the person picked up the phone and calls me. Oh, Muntamba, it happened to you too. Okay. <laughs> the person, now, no, phone call wakes me up. Now, how are you? I said, I'm good. And I'm now, I'm, sh I'm in total shock, total shock. And the first thing the person is saying, um, you know, um, I need I need a little help. Um, I need 
I need a little help. If you know, if you can help me, um, you know, I know, I know that um, uh, there are some people I can go to, but I know that there are people I can go to because because you know um, they have a good heart and they are caring. And so I know, uh, and so and so, if you can help me a little bit, and I said to myself, Oh, Father, hold my mouth, Jehovah, hold my mouth, hold my mouth, because you know this battle is not a physical battle. We are not fighting fighting flesh and blood, but principalities and powers, rulers of darkness of this world, wicked spirit. They are wicked. Nigerian man will say wicked. They are so wicked. Wicked spirit in high places. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe. And so now, guess what? Now, because I took my wallet back, and because I gave them, hey, I went and now guess what and so i said i asked them the person i said what do you, i mean what, what what's going what's wrong he says oh i'm not feeling well at all you know i fell i fell under and and you know every part of my body especially my knee my knee i i, I, I have to go to the hospital and so guess what what they are doing is this or what this particular person was doing is this spiritually i took my wallet and so now they have to come physically to come and take money from me just to stamp what they have done in the spirit. Are you listening to me? There are certain things you see in your dream and in this period of fasting, my darling, you can never joke. You can't joke because we are entering into a new year and the gate of 2018 is already open. But believe you me, it is not everybody that will enter in. It's not everybody, but there, with your prayer, with your fasting, if you are even appointed to die, I am telling you, you can change that verdict. You can change that sentence by your prayer. Hey, hey, you can change it by your prayer. And so the person, I said, you know what, my, 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 whatever. I said, I am so sorry. I mean, I wish I have it. I don't have it. And so I can help you. There are other people you can call, but me, I, I, I don't have to give you. Now, somebody will say, oh, woman of God, you are, I can't believe you didn't give it. Well, let it happen to you and you pick up your money and give it and see how broke you will become. Now, you see, I always tell us, God did not give us a brain, okay, that the brain will be lying dormant and people will be controlling our lives. No, he gave us brain to think. And some of us, we are not thinking. We are praying, we are not watching. Or you are watching and you are not praying. And some are doing both, but this thing in your head called your brain is not being used. It's not being used because some of these people know they have this spirit we call the spirit of manipulation. They know how to manipulate you very well. And some of them will use tears. Every little tiny thing they are crying. Because listen, 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 listen. Hey, if you are not aggressive, and if you are not strong in the spirit, I am telling you, in the, in the time that we are in, it is those that are strong, those that are strong are those that will survive the survival of the fittest. Those that are strong are those that will survive. You are lifting up your voice. Anything they have swallowed. Job chapter 20, 15. They have swallowed down riches. He will vomit it up again. God shall cast it out of his belly. God shall cast it out. Generous, I need wisdom from you, God. Yes, my darling. <laughs> he has swallowed down riches. He will vomit it. You are commanding them to vomit. Anything they have swallowed swallowed they have to vomit it vomit it by tender by fire vomit it by tender by fire you are setting fire into that belly let fire enter that stomach oh yeah fire enter 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 begin begin come on lift up your voice begin to pray come on lift up your voice with me lift up your voice my god with me kalabalaba me comprando vele le coli ivanda katagrando vele kato la 
Come on, lift up your voice. Anything they have swallowed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Anything they have swallowed, come on. Anything they have swallowed, anything they have swallowed, anything they have swallowed, anything they have swallowed, come on. Makule bradime keparakata, lavanda katuadim rente kadagrato, aparu ile varu managamani, la pradiza gadotoroko, ama vodi ateshte bratamaha. Father, on the, in this 15th day of our 21 days of fasting, Jehovah God, anything our enemies have swallowed, Father, this Money, a hey, capato fire enter, fire enter, enter that stomach, fire enter that stomach, fire enter that belly. In the name of Jesus, they have swallowed down riches, they will vomit it up. Let them vomit, let them vomit, let them vomit. May they be so uncomfortable, may they feel so uncomfortable in their belly. Let them throw up, let them throw up that wedding ring that they have swallowed. My God, let them throw up uh, that engagement ring they have swallowed. Let them throw up my God. That womb they have swallowed. They have swallowed. They have swallowed. They have swallowed. They want to render you useless. They want to render you useless. But today, in the name of Jesus, whatever they have swallowed, may they vomit now. Capradia, la kunde brende vande gete grados tapraha. Atoni mi ki panda kada grante. A peni aso zavande kati dada baha. La brado mre eke patomaha. La kunde brende vreleke. La pado dodoroko. Ado madi brende veni atastamaha. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I promise you this morning or yesterday that we are going to deal with this thing. And so we have to deal with it because I made a promise we are going to deal with it. Now, in the book of Matthew chapter 2, in the book of Matthew chapter 2, I promise we are going to deal with it. So we are going to deal with it right this minute. Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2, we are dealing with it. He says, and now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Judea, in the days of Herod the king, and this morning my question to you was, my God, on the day you were born, the month, the year you were born, which king was sitting on the throne in your family? Which principality was sitting on the throne in, the, in your family? I mean, who, who was sitting on the throne at that time? The day you were born. Do you know that every, and I said, I'm saying it again. Do you know that every baby, unless of course the baby is dead, but every baby, you, when you were born, you cried. And some of you, from the day you were born, when you started crying, you have never stopped crying. You are still crying. <laughs> on the day you were born and you cried, you have never stopped crying. You are still crying. You are crying. Everything you ought to cry for it because it's like the enemy is making your life a living hell. And so since the day you were born, you are 32, you are 43, you are 50, you are whatever. From the day you were born that you started crying. You have never stopped crying. My question to you is this. On the day you were born, in the city you were born in, in the country you were born in, my God, at the time you were born, who was the king that was sitting on the throne? Who was that king that was sitting on the throne on the day you were born? Who was on the throne? On the day Jesus was born, Herod was sitting on the throne. Now, I've spoken too much or a lot about Herod. Now, Herod are envious. People with the spirit of Herod. My God, they don't want anybody sitting on the throne 
throne. They want to remain forever relevant. People with the spirit of Herod. Now, who was on the throne when you were born? And the person made a vow. When they heard your voice, when they heard your cry, they vowed to make sure that you will never stop crying. Who was sitting on the throne? The question is who? Who was on the throne? The day you were born, who was ruling at that time in your family? And I've said to you, spirits don't die. I want you to listen to me. Spirits don't die. They don't die. Now, what happens is this. All that they do, when they are about to leave, when they are about to depart, they do something we call, um, what do you call the baton? They take the baton and they pass it on to somebody else. They don't die with whatever they, they, they were operating in. And I spoke to you this yesterday in the morning uh, about a lady I was dealing with. We are going to pray. A lady I was dealing with, and um, she, um, she calls me one day, and she says, Mommy, I had this weird dream, and I shared it yesterday. She said, I had this weird dream. I said, what was it? And then she said, I had a dream I was going into a building. Now, just as she got to the entrance of the building and she was about to open the door, her dead grandmother opened the door and was standing at the door, the entrance of the door. Now, the grandmother who is dead had a broom in her hands. Now, I am not talking about the American broom. I am talking about the African broom. You know, the long sticks, you know, the broom, yeah. And she says, the grandmother who is dead, she says, mommy, my grandmother had um, this black and white, um, you know, African cloth on, and my grandmother had a broom in her hands. And he said, mommy, the strangest part of this whole thing was that the broom, you know, the broom has, you know, the, the place where you used to sweep, right, the thing where you used to sweep. She says, that side was, was, was looking upward like that. And then where you hold was downwards. And the grandmother had just as she got to the door, she was going to open the door and go in. She said, mommy, I don't even know what I was going there to do. But she, when she got at the entrance of the door, the grandmother came out and the grandmother handed over the broom to her, a broom. But the head of the, the you know, where you, they used to sweep, was looking upward and the grandmother handed the broom to her. And just as the grandmother handed the broom to her, she said the grandmother just passed her and she was calling the grandmother, calling the grandmother and the woman did not respond and she woke up. When she woke up, she said, oh my God, what kind of a dream is this? This woman is dead and gone. And what has grandmother gotten to do with a broom? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Guess what? So the first question I asked, I said, well, this one, this dream, I don't understand. And uh, as for me, if I don't understand something, I'm not going to pretend I do. I said, no, I don't understand. So let, let's give me some time. Let me go and pray and ask God, what is the meaning of this? Now, only for me to go and pray. And the meaning was just, was horrible. And so the first question I asked, I asked her a couple of days later. I said, do you see yourself eating in the dream? She says, mommy, every day. I eat in the dream every day. Now, guess what? They have to first pollute her soul. Okay? They first have to, I mean, put stuff, I mean, seriously and dangerously, pollute her soul so that the grandmother who is dead and gone have to be able to pass on the baton. Now, I ask her, do you have, um, you know, um, any um, room, I mean, you know, back, of course, we have, you know, every family literally uh, have gods in the family. And some of them, the gods are in the, in the family house and they have like a room and, and the God is there. And so I said, do you have gods in your family? And I, I'm asking that question, I'm asking myself, who doesn't have one? I said, do you have gods in the, she said, yes. Oh my God. Oh, she goes, oh my God, mommy, now I am remembering. I was standing, I was entered into that room, the room that we had the gods, the family gods in there. And that was where I was entered. And my grandmother came out and handed me a broom. I said, okay, so now whatever spirit she was operating under, 
now she's passed it on to you. So I said, I am coming to Maryland. She was in Maryland. I said, I'm coming to Maryland for a program. I said, and said she, so she said, I need deliverance. I said, well, you have to wait. I'm coming to Maryland. She came to Maryland. My father, my creator. When I didn't even know who she is, because I was only talking to her on the phone. I have never met her physically. So I was talking to her on the phone. Now, I am preaching, and whilst I'm preaching, I see this lady and two other ladies walking in into the sanctuary. And just as they walk in, one of them had this thing like a masquerade on her face. And I could, I'm still like, oh my God, what is this? Now, I didn't know who she was because I was only talking to her on the phone. I've never met her for, you know, before. And so now, when I was done preaching, my God, and this lady started manifesting. This demon will come and you cast this demon out and another personality will rise up. One of them started laughing. I mean, laughing hysterically and says, hey, 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 hey. Do you know how long? <laughs> Do you know how long I have been in this family? Do you know how long I've been here? <laughs> you, you want to cast me? And, and the thing that really marveled me was that this demon, <laughs> I have a family name that it is only my family that knows that name. And this demon <laughs> mentioned my family name, the name they called me, my family. The demon mentioned my name and he says, you, do you know how long I have been here? That you, you want to come cast me out. Do you know how long I am older than you? Her. The demon says she's older than me. <laughs> I am older than you. I said, I don't care. I have a scar on my on my leg. And anytime I see the scar, I remember that lady. Um, I said, I don't care who you are, how long you have been in this family. I have authority to cast you out. Oh my God, it took us some time. Let me say something to you. There are stuff that we take for granted. We take, we take for granted. But if you will only be a man, a woman, a student of God's word, there is absolutely nothing you cannot deal with. Doesn't matter what it is, you'll be able to deal with it. Why? Because God says, I have exalted my word above my name. There is so much power in God's word that if you can only pick up his word and the word that God has spoken, that Jesus understood the power in God's word that after Jesus has fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, he was led into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Now Satan comes to him and he says, look at it, G, G, look, hey, look, look at, look at the world. Hey, look at it. I mean, everything is in there. Man, look at the beauty of this world. Listen, there's only one thing I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a whole lot of things. Just one thing. Bow down and worship me. And if you worship me, all these things I'll give to you because it's been handed over to me. Who gave it to the devil? Adam, in the beginning. And so he says, I will give it to you. And what did Jesus say? It is written. If you don't know God's word, my darling, people will be using you. No wonder some of you, you have contacted every pastor in the world. I am not saying that but talking to a man of God or a woman of God is wrong. But my dear, what happens or what will happen if you are looking for that man of God or that woman of God and they are not available? What are you going to do? Are you going to sit down and say because the man of God is not available or the woman of God is not available and your child is sick, you are going to sit down and, and do nothing until your child dies? No. No, you have a man of God or a woman of God that have invested time in teaching you God's word so that you, you will be able to stand on your feet. 
standing on your feet. We are lifting up prayer. We are lifting up prayer. There is this woman of God. She's been singing for years. Years, 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 years. And um, she, um, you know, goes out with men of God to do ministry. And um, she will minister in songs. And every time she goes and do ministry, when she comes home, Anytime after 12 midnight, when she had come for the meetings after singing for hours and she's tired, her child will have an asthma attack. And she will have to run and call the ambulance and all that and take the child to the hospital. This one particular day, she went to a meeting and came back and she was tired. And a little after 12 midnight, the asthma attack came back and the woman said, today, <laughs> I am so tired. I am not taking you to no hospital today. You, this demon of asthma, you are going to get out of my child's life because I am tired of being tired. I am not going to get out of here. And if, if my child died, let him die. He said, I am, you are getting out of this body. And the woman stood her ground. And from that day, that asthma left and never came back. Why? When she was entertaining the asthma, she would pick up the child, take the child to emergency. And you know emergency. Emergency. I don't even know why. They called it emergency. They said it's emergency, but you'll be there for eight hours. <laughs> you, until they see that your head is off and is hanging, that is when they are going to take, you know, if not emergency, you'll be there for hours. And so the lady will go and sit there for hours. But this time, that particular day, she says, no, uh-uh. This thing is not happening. Mm -mm. Demon, you are leaving my child today. And when she stood the ground, that demon left. What am I saying to you? You, watching me, you cannot depend on somebody's prayer. Are you listening to me? There are times where somebody will say, I am praying for you. My dear, listen to me. They can't even pray for themselves. And you think they are going to pray for you. They can't even pray for themselves. My darling, pick up yourself. Steady God's word. And be a man or a woman that loves to pray. Let me say this to you. A day is coming. There will be no pastor. There will be no prophet. There will be no evangelist. There will be no teacher. There will be no apostle because every one of them is fighting for themselves. And so if you don't have the word, if you don't know how to pray, my darling, you will have a shock. You will. And it will not be just a regular shock. You will have a titanic shock. Because you want somebody to do the work for you. I used to laugh when I heard that somebody said, bring money and let me fast for you. Really? Bring money and let me fast for you. What is wrong with your belly? What is wrong with you? You can't fast. So somebody ought to fast for you. No wonder people have been taking advantage of you. Because they realize you are so lazy. You are so lazy. You can't do it on your own. I mean, I, I, am, I am not, I, I mean, I'm just being very honest. That every child of God, you ought to be able to know the word. Know the word for yourself. Know Jesus for yourself. 
Know Jesus for yourself. And you cannot live anyhow. You cannot know. You cannot live anyhow. And think that God is a magician. And you can do whatever you want. And, and God will just wave a wand. And everything will come to you. No, it does not work that way. My darling, no. It doesn't work that way. Keep your garment clean. Do what the word is saying. Because the reason why you are going in circles. <laughs> Mrs. Edward, come on now, preach it. You are going in circles all over the place. It's because you are spiritually lazy. You don't want to do anything. You want to cross your leg and sing Amazing Grace and you want everybody, like I was saying the other day, you, 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 I mean, you have allowed the enemy and you yourself, you think that life is, is, is doing the hokey pokey. You know what the hokey, hokey pokey is, right? The children used to have this thing. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out. You know that one. You put your right foot in and you turn it on. You shake it all around. You do the hokey pokey. No, life is not hokey pokey. You don't put your right foot in and you take it out. You put your right foot in, left foot in and you take it out. No, if your right foot is in, stay in. You can't put it in and bring it out. Put it in and bring it out. Today you are in, tomorrow you are out. Today you are in, tomorrow you are out. And after you are done all that you are doing, you say, devil, I bind you. No wonder the devil is slapping you left, right, center. Because everything that is in the devil is in you. You want to be committing adultery and yet believe that Jehovah God will just wave a wand and everything is going to be okay. My darling, know God for yourself. Know his word for yourself. Because a time is coming and the time is here. It's here. We are going to pray. The time is here. Here, the time is here. Look at our brothers and our sisters who are being persecuted. Some of them are being beheaded. They are killing them. A time is coming. You cannot hold the Bible anymore. Write it somewhere. It is in God's word. Tribulation. A time is coming. You will not be able to hold the Bible. And so if the word is not in you, my darling, if the word is not in you, if the word is not in you, you are in deep trouble. You ought to have the word of God in the inside of you. So that when situation crops up, the word, the other day somebody calls me and says, um, 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 you know, uh, mommy, pray for, pray for my son and um, she's, um, he's going to have an exam and, and pray that, that, that God will help him. And um, uh, me knowing myself, I asked the mother, I said, was your son studying? Because you can't, you, listen, you can't go to the nightclub and drink and, and have fun to you. That's what you think it's fun. You have all the fun and then when it's time for exams, you are calling pastors and telling pastors to remember your son. In, in, to do what? Remember him for, for what? That boy have not studied. Now, if you study, then as you sit there, the Holy Ghost will bring to your remembrance that which you have studied. But if you have not studied and you are all over the place and you are calling men of God, wasting their God-given time, and tell it, pray for my son. Pray for your son. My darling, this is not the time for us to be lazy and thinking that everything is going to fall on a silver platter and be handed over to us. You have to work for it. My dear, you have to work for it. 
take off that garment, that filthy garment that is on you. There is a filthy garment. Okay, she says, I hear you, mommy. There is a filthy garment. Somebody called me yesterday. I'm completely bitterly about a husband. My husband did this. My husband did this. And, and I was quiet. I, I made her talk to her. When she finished, I said, and what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? What did you contribute to what your husband is doing? My dear, listen to me. The times we are in, very crucial. You cannot joke around too much with your life and expect that God will just wave his hand and everything will come. And so there are people who are testifying, not testifying. They are testifying because they want somebody to know that they too, they know God, that they too, they have encountered God, that they too, they have experienced God. And so you go places and people are dangerously testifying. They have not encountered God. They don't want to. And so you allow somebody to, you know you are in school. You know you have to do your work. And you are giving your work to somebody else to do it for you. And yet, you are coming to say that you pass your exams and God helped you pass your exams. What is happening to us? What is happening to us? Rise up, child of God. Rise up. Put away. Throw away. Let it go. Release it. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. It's there. It's on you. Take it off. I was ministering in New Jersey last week. I mean, uh, today's week. And I was saying it to them. I said, the reason why you always come for deliverance, 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 and you go back. And when you leave the church and you go back, what you left, you go back for it. And then the demons comes back. And so the pastor is always in trouble because nobody is willing to tell you that what you are wearing, the gods, the things you have made gods, take them off you. Let it be. Remove it. Take it off. Stop it. Stop. Put a full stop to it. You are a worship leader. Father, help me this morning. You are a worship leader. And you know that your garment, your spiritual garment ought to be clean. Before you can stand on that altar and lift up your voice unto God. But guess what? Guess what? Friday night. You are in the nightclub. Saturday, you are at the party. Because you know that rehearsal is Saturday morning or afternoon. So you go to rehearsal, all right. And in the evening, you are sleeping on a strange pillow. You are sleeping on a strange chest. You are, you are, you are literally robbing a wrong and a strange ATM. And Sunday morning, you put on church. You put it on. You put on church. You think it's a garment. So you put on church. And you go to church. You put it on. And so you enter into church. You are holy, sanctimonious. You go there. And you stand there. And you said you are leading worship. And the whole atmosphere is polluted. You see people jumping around, screaming around, and you think that God is there. No, it is emotions that are being paraded in the church. Screaming, 
but God is not in it. His presence is not there. Because the one that is standing, lifting up the voice, has a garment on that is filthy. And yet nobody is bold enough to say it. Because the one who is going to say it is also in the same soup. Is also doing the same thing. How is he or she going to correct you? Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. So that it will not look like somebody watching you is saying, Oh, the lady went to church the whole day. The whole year. Oh my goodness. She went the whole year. That girl was in church. I cannot believe. I mean, I mean, God didn't answer her prayer. God didn't answer his prayer. I mean, the guy was in church. The People only knew you in church. But when church was over, nobody knew what you were doing. Why have you allowed yourself to become a used can? Anybody and everybody can pick you up. Have you forgotten that this thing called your body is the temple? Your body is the temple. Take it. Take it off. Take it off. God wants to do something beautiful with your life. He wants to get glory out of you. Yes, he does. But it's up to you to allow him. It's up to you. Some have become literally I mean, like the way pigs are. We come to church, you are clean, you go back. Joseph says, Lord, forgive us. You come to church, they clean you up, you go back, and you put yourself back in the pit. Take it off. You want God to hear you? You want him to fight your battles? You want God to be proud of you? Look at the way he was so proud of Job. Take it off. Do that which is right, not good. Do the right thing, not the good thing. Do the right thing. You are staying with a man you are not married to. You are living with a woman you are not married to. And you go about wearing a ring saying that you are married, but you know you're not married. You know it. Well, it was a mistake for the first time you had a child. To you, it's a mistake. Why didn't you correct it? And you, are, you stayed with somebody's husband. Somebody's husband. And now you have three children with that man and you are seeing it's a mistake. What is happening? To us, Alice said, God forgive us. What is happening to us? Emilia said, I just want to make you proud, Lord. What is happening to us? What is going on with us? Have we forgotten that the day is coming we stand before him and give an account of everything we did with our lives? Why are we allowing the world to control us, to have dominion over us? Take off the pretense 
tense. You know, you know, you know you are not living a right life, a godly life. You know it. Why pretend? Go before God. Tell him to clean you up. What is happening to us? Yeah. What is happening to us? You don't hear messages like this anymore. Because people will get angry. We don't hear it anymore. Take it off. Yeah. Take it off. You are wearing the garment of pretense. You have a filthy garment on. And you think nobody sees, but God sees it. Why are you so angry? You know you have a problem. And yet nobody can address it. Nobody can address it. You have an anger issue, yes. And nobody. You don't want anybody touching it. But somebody. You have to be responsible. You, you really have to. Be accountable to somebody. People who are not accountable to anybody. Are targets. You easily become a prey. Because nobody can correct you because you are not you are not accountable to anybody. Who are you accountable to? Who can correct you when you are wrong? Who? Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Yeah. Life, I don't know why the Spirit of God is taking me this route this morning. But I'm going to be obedient. I am. I'm not going to cover up because I have nothing to lose. I really have nothing to lose. It is time. It is time for you to stand up for the truth. It is time. When they are counting on Christians in your neighborhood, they are calling on Christians in your neighborhood, can your neighbors say that, oh, she's a Christian? Can they say that? Your life is an open book. People are reading you and you don't even have a clue that people are reading you. My question is, what chapter have they got into and what are they reading? Your life is an open book. My life is an open book. People are reading. What chapter have they got into and what are they reading? Stand up. For Jesus. <laughs> it is time, Emilia, yes. It is time. Stand up for Jesus. Stand up. I'm saying it for the last time. Stand up for Jesus. If anybody should for example, or if you are in anywhere and your life is being threatened and they ask you, make a choice. Tell us, do you believe in Jesus? Are you going to say, um, 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 or 
you, you will not even allow them to finish. I say, yes. Kill me. I believe in him. Stand up for Jesus. People don't even know whether you are a Christian or you are something else. Because they can't even figure it out. In those days, if you see a Christian, nobody have to tell you. Nobody tells you. Nobody tells you. They should, they, I mean, they, they really don't even have to tell you they are Christians. There is something about them that tells you. Hmm, that's a Christian brother. That's a Christian sister. Today, you can't even tell somebody because the same way people dress to the nightclubs are the same way sisters are dressing to church in the name of it's summer it's interesting how we can cover up from head to toe when it's winter we can cover up some bundle up. They, they have a whole bunch of, you know, just to bundle up. And yet, when it's summer, we look just like the world. And we say we are going to church. And we enter into God's house. Looking some way <laughs> somebody will say some way spirit looking some way what is happening to us what is happening a woman watching me a young lady watching me a young man watching me listen I know there's time for everything. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there is time for everything. Yeah. But I believe that this is time for us to get our act straight. This time. If you were Somebody says, I can hear a pin dropping. Jesus says you ought to be either hot or cold. You are either really hot or you are dangerously cold. You can't be lukewarm. He says, if you are lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. I don't want to be spewed out of God's mouth. He took his time. <laughs> and I believe I have not even started what God really called me to do. But he took his time to get certain things out of me. When I was going through the pruning, it was difficult, my darling. I was determined to say yes. Yes. How many times have you said yes and yet gone back? Listen. A day is coming. Maybe you've never seen that before, but I have. In the hospital, we went to see a lady years ago. We're standing right there at the hospital where the monitor just went straight line like that. I will never forget as long as I live. The monitor on her just went, the line went straight like that.
were standing there when the nurses came. And this lady, she was from Liberia. Very nice lady. And I'm looking at this lady lying down. And she was dead, but her eyes were still open and the nurse had to come in. And guess what? The only thing they could use to identify, her name was Irene, I'll never forget her. The only thing they used to identify was a name tag. They wrote her name and they, <laughs> the, the only prophet in our family, Prophet Dauka, the name tag and they wrapped it around her big toe. And I stood there and I'm watching and I'm like, with everything that Irene did, the only thing that they have to do to identify who Irene is was a name tag. They wrote her name and they put it on her big toe. I stood there. And they came and they took her away. What is life? That we are living lives that are not pleasing unto God. We are doing what we want and yet we think that God is a magician and that, you know, when, 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 I'm, when I'm, I'm in trouble, then I can run to God and say, hey, God, hey, Jesus, have mercy on me and Jesus. But guess what? He's there, all right. But he's giving us his word. And we don't want to spend time in his word to know him. And so Paul, after all that Paul went through, after all that Paul did, after everything, Paul said that I may know him. And you ask your question, didn't Paul know who he was? He encountered him. When he was sore, he encountered him. Paul say that I may know him. He realized that he knew God to a level and he really doesn't know him that much. Pastor Benny Hinn said this in one of his teachings years ago. I really love his ministry. He had a revelation when he got the opportunity to get a glimpse into eternity. And he says he sees countless of angels and uh, they worship him. But then he said the strangest thing about his visitation is that any time the angels went down, when they lifted up themselves, they saw another side of God. <laughs> they saw a different side of God. In other words, from eternity till now, no angel have seen the same side of God twice. None have seen the same side of God. That is the awesomeness of our God. And yet, we don't want to accept him. Some of us have accepted him, but we are still 
One foot is in the kingdom. The other foot is in the world. Do you know who suffers? It is you. Because your legs are being stretched wide. Because one leg is in the kingdom. The other leg is in the world. So you are doing the hokey pokey. You put your right foot in. You put your right foot out. You put your left foot in. Put your left foot out and so it's in and out in and out but i believe this morning the 15th day of the month of december 2017 the 15th day of the month of december 2017 will never come again what you are hearing today, it is time for you to surrender. There is a young boy, a young guy watching me. You were just passing through and you stopped. You have smoked so bad that now you are beginning to cough. Smoke so bad for a, for a while now. You're beginning to cough. Stop it. You are not doing any good to yourself. You are just polluting God's temple. You are asking yourself, how did she how did she see that? Yeah. He wants you to let go. Jesus is waiting. He's waiting. There is still room at the cross. It's, 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 not, it's not full. If hell is enlarging itself every day, heaven can never be full. There is still room. Surrender to him. Arita says what? Create in me a clean heart and renew right spirit. Give it to him. Just give your life. Give it. I gave my life and I'm not going. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> I am stuck with God. I have nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. I'm stuck with him. He wants to make your life so beautiful. So beautiful. But he will not force his will on you. You have to surrender to him. So that he can make your life beautiful. Somebody's crying, seriously crying. And you are saying, Lord, I'm sorry. Yeah, he heard you. He did. Come back home. Come home. Come home. You fought for so long. You fought for a very long time. Aren't you tired? Aren't you really tired? Surrender to him. Give it to him. Tell him, Lord, I am so sorry. I know you love me. You died for me. Jesus, yeah, you died for me. I'm so sorry. But today I... See where I have gone wrong. And I'm coming to you. Forgive my sins. Wash and cleanse me. 
sight of blood. I confess. I declare. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. Come into my heart and be Lord. In Jesus' name. Emilia said, I am tired, oh Lord, yeah. Give it all to him. Just give it. All right? <laughs> okay, she said, there is a stillness in the atmosphere. Give it. Give it. says, Lord, I am so sorry. Records are being cancelled by the blood. Records are being cancelled by the blood. Sheets are being wiped clean by the blood. <laughs> by the blood sheets have been wiped books have been wiped clean by the blood I see a dusty file a file a file somebody's file has been somewhere for a very long time it's very dusty and I see Somebody picking up the file and dusting the dust of the file. There is a file. Dust is being taken off the file. Dust is being... Oh, Jesus. Dust is being taken off the file. He loves you unconditionally. He... A day is coming, you will hear this rusty voice in your ears. A day is coming, you will hear this voice in your ears. A whole lot of you, you are going to work for God. I'm, I'm so excited for you. Really excited. You are going to work for him. When you hear the call, say yes. I love you. <laughs> I love you with God's love. Father, I thank you for your people, I want to honor you for their lives. Thank you that this day, souls have been surrendered to you. We thank you. Help us. We need your help to, to walk. We need your help, your grace. Grant us great grace that we may walk with you. We may do your will and we will see you someday. Thank you for helping us, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Kani, I love you too. Amen. All right? All right. So, we are going to Start. Joe said, I am willing to work for God. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to start. Whatever you can do in the kingdom, avail yourself and do it. In your church, whatever you can do in the kingdom, 
don't wait for anybody to come ask you, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do whatever you can do in the kingdom? Do it. If they're looking for somebody to clean the church, don't wait for anybody to come ask you. It's part of the kingdom work. I cleaned the church for three and a half years. Yeah, I did. And in my cleaning the church, one day I had a, an angelic visitation by cleaning the church. Mm -hmm. By cleaning the church. Whatever you can do in the kingdom, avail yourself and do it. And Jehovah the Blesser will bless you. All right, love you, 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 love you. Now, let me say this. Um, the midnight prayer, the midnight prayer. I see God is doing something miraculous with the midnight prayer, and um. I want you, I will, I will, I will um, be um, doing the midnight prayer on my page. Um, I know I get, you know, um, there are those people on my page there who are followers, you know, they follow me on my page there. So I'm um, reverence, reverence of your blessings is my page. And so I would be, when we are done with the 21 days fasting, now 21 days will be done next week, Thursday. We'll be done with it next week, Thursday. I can't believe it's, um, it's um, Friday already. Next week, Thursday. Um, oh, Angelina, the Lord bless you as well. Next week, Thursday, we'll be done with our 21 days of fasting. And um, I believe we'll wait for a while and then we'll start um, the midnight prayer again. But when we start the midnight prayer, um, I would rather um, do the midnight prayer on my page. Reverence of your blessings there. And so um, those of you who enjoy, oh, Anita said, I'm loving the midnight prayers. <laughs> we bless God. Now, those of you who enjoy prayer, you love to pray. You will want to pray more. Um, I want you to like that page. Reverend Sylvia Blessings. Okay, Reverend. Oh, the time is 12 midnight, um, Eastern Standard Time. All right, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so I want you to start liking um, Reverend Sylvia Blessings because if you like that page, then that is where I will be doing the midnight prayer when we are done with the 21 days of fasting. So we'll be doing the midnight prayer there. Now, you have to, if you like the page, when I come on, it will give you notification that I am on. Then you can join me there for the midnight prayer. I want to use my regular, you know, platform here um, for the word. And then I will use reverence of your blessings um, for, for, for prayer. I want to do that um, when we are done with, um, you know, with the fasting. All right. And so like that page there. Um, and... Um, it will be a blessing. Reverend Sylvia Blessings. There, it's my page as well. Go there and like it. Just just like, like the page. And those of you on the YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. There are great materials there that will be a blessing to your family. In this Christmas season, my darling, the best gift you can give anybody is God's word. The best gift. Find time, spend time with your family. Yesterday, um, I heard that an eight-year-old have committed suicide. An eight-year-old, eight, have committed suicide because she was being bullied. Listen to me. Parents, when your children come, from school and they start saying stuff to you pay attention please pay attention 
<laughs> oh, I tell you. Ah, this prophet in our family. I, uh, the prophet, the only prophet in our family. Some of us are apprentices. <laughs> now, pay attention. When they come and they say, um, somebody's bullying them, somebody's harassing them, somebody's hitting them. Pay attention, please. If you have to go to the school and talk to a teacher, the principal, somebody, okay? These are your children or your child. Listen to them. And when they start making little, little comments here and there, pay attention. Don't say it's one of those things. Pay attention. Pay attention. I mean, it is a very sad story for an eight-year-old to hang herself because she's been bullied in school. Father, I pray for her mother. I pray for the entire family. I am asking times like this, Lord, the only thing she needs is grace. I promise I was going to call her. I asked the lady that, you know, told me and um, she said the lady said she doesn't feel like talking to anybody right now um she she wants to be left alone and um that also is one dangerous thing um you know when stuff like this have happened and you want to be left alone that's that's also not good at all so i want us to be praying for our children all right pray for your children um don't get too angry with your child that you are so angry that you don't want to pray for your child. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? The retreat. I'm done with you this morning. The retreat is the um, conference, women's conference, is next week. It's next week, Friday and Saturday here in New York. And um, I know I'm in trouble with the men. I, you know, got a lot of... Um, you know, like, mommy, this is not fair. Mommy, this is not fair at all. This is not fair. Why is it the women and the, not the men? It's not fair. Well, it's the last, um, you know, meeting of the year. It's for the women. And uh, in June, we have three days of um, retreat next year. Prophet Dakwa is going to be there. It's going to be fantastic. In June, if you have not registered, um, go on sylviablessings.org. Oh, Barbara. Barbara, you love the t-shirt, right? Yeah, girlfriend. I'm telling you. Hey, sweetie. Hmm. I'm telling you. I, I, I love it. I do. I, I love it. it it's it's the, the, the only prophet in Napa. This is my daughter. She says, Mommy, please promote the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, this is this is um um t-shirt. Um, you know, Sylvia Blessings Ministry. It's an inside thing. <laughs> it's an inside thing. I know there are, you know, some of you, you you know what I'm talking about. I mean, I did a series on Joseph, and Joseph's brothers um thought that you know the blessings, the the favor. Um, the whatever they thought that it was in the coat that um, Joseph was wearing the coat of many colors that his father you know Jacob made for him they thought that you know everything you know all these things you are dreaming you are, they thought that everything was in the coat and so they stripped him of the coat but what they did not understand that what Joseph carried was not in the coat but it was an inside thing. It was in his inside. Everything was part of his package. They thought that it was in the coat. They took the coat, but they didn't understand that the anointing, the favor, the, the, the whatever, the blessing was not in the coat. It was an inside thing. <laughs> and so, get your copy. Um, no, cup, that's not a book. Um, get get one get one all right get one inbox me um you know send me a messenger if you need one um this one this 
the t-shirt here um, is twenty dollars now if you want if you are out of state and you want the t-shirt and you are ordering please um, add shipping and handling to it and then it will be sent to you all right it will be sent to you and so get 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 one it's really nice and then I have <laughs> oh god she says mommy is not selling the t-shirt but show love all right and then you get one um, well of course you can also um, sew um, into Sylvia Blessings Ministry $20 and up all right $20 and up um, of course, um, Arita, I tell you, this is my daughter. Well, it's around Christmas. I have a whole lot of sons and daughters that I want to be a blessing to this Christmas. Some of them have blessed me for a very long time. It's now time, my time, to be a blessing to them. And um, I want to really bless them. And so some, not all, some of the proce produce of, uh, proceeds of this one is going to be a blessing to others. All right? And um, getting blankets from the homeless. We started doing that, and uh, it's 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 beautiful. It comes with a sweatshirt, um, as well. I love the sweatshirt. It comes with the sweatshirt as well, and so um, just you know, send me a messenger. All right. It depends. Joanne Joanne said, "How much is the shipping and handling?" It depends on where. Okay, it depends on where. I don't know if you are in Europe. I don't know if you are in the state. I don't know where. And so just inbox me. Just messenger send me a message or messenger and let's talk there and then I will, I will personally ship them to you all right it comes in small I don't have extra small it comes in small it comes in medium it comes in large and in extra large all right so I have um, the burgundy then I have the purple okay I have the burgundy and I, I have the purple oh Connie Connie I know you you, you sent me that you want it so I'll, I'll let you have it all right, mommy, please. I still haven't received. Oh, if what I have not sent it to you, oh my lord, if I forgive me, all right, forgive mommy. I'm gonna send it to you. D did you send me? Um, um, you did it on messenger, right? All right, if what, uh, man, man, tibia, if what, man, tibia, okay. I'll look, I'll look for it. If what, man, tibia, okay. All right, the Lord bless you. Oh, you are in what? Oh, Oman near Dubai. Yeah, I can I can still mail it. I can still mail it. it, it sh okay, Jata, it should be fifty. All right, thank you, Jata. All right, so now if you saw fifty dollars and up, it will be mailed to you. Now that will include shipping and handling. Is that okay? All right. If you saw so fifty dollars and up, and it will be mailed to you, and uh, that will include shipping and handling. Somebody said, "Mommy, it's fifty dollars." Okay, so it's fifty dollars and up. So a seed of fifty dollars and up, and then it will be mailed to you. Um, you know, the Lord bless. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. <laughs> Ronke, Ronke, Ronke is something else. I tell you. All right. The Lord bless. Mommy will discuss a message. All right. All right. The Lord bless every one of you. I pray that as you put yourself on your bed this morning, that people need 1x, 2x, 3x. Yes, it's it's there. You want 1x, 2x, 3x. Let me know, okay? Just just let me know um, through Messenger. Let me know. Don't, no problem at all. Whatever you are looking for, Mommy will get it for you, okay? No problem. I'm still throwing out, um, throwing um, invitation. Those of you in, um, you know, Connecticut, um, you know, um, New Jersey, um, Staten Island, Long Island. I'm inviting you to the Women's Conference um, for 22nd, 23rd, right here in the Bronx in New York. And so make sure um, that you let us know that you are coming. Um, just call 347-701-4074, 347-701-4074, all right, 347-401-4074, and um, just call the number, let us know that you are coming for the conference, 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's really going to be fantastic, I tell you. And so make sure you come and um, call that number. Let us know you are coming or you can even text to that number. Let us know that you are coming. We just need your name. And, uh, you know, if you are coming from out of state, I know there are some that are come, coming from out of state and uh, we've, uh, you know, booked hotels for them already. If you want to come out of, from out of state, let us know so that we'll be able to get you um, a room to stay overnight or whatever you want, whether, whether you want to stay two nights or one night. You know, it will be given out to you. Um, number again. Okay. Number again. All right. Three, four, seven. Seven zero one four zero seven four three four seven seven zero one four zero seven four. Okay, yeah, that's the number. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, my darling. All is it's all is well. The Lord bless you. I love you. Enjoy. Um, the only prophet in my family. You better you better pick up my calls because we have to talk this morning. The Lord bless. Love you. Enjoy. Really. Enjoy. Now, this tea. Oh, I forgot. This. On the, Saturday, on the Saturday, the 23rd, we are all going to wear this. On the 23rd, we are all wearing this t-shirt. We are all wearing this. Okay? So, um, when you come, on either either you get yours before you get here or when you come the Friday make sure you come on time um, you know so that you can get your t-shirt on time because this is what we will be wearing every one of us will be wearing the Saturday is gonna be glorious we'll be wearing the Saturday so make sure you get your cup yes um, I'm fatter it's an inside thing it is it's an inside thing the Lord bless you. May the angels of the Lord encamp round about you as you sleep. May they spread their wings. May they draw their sword, protecting you and your family. In Jesus' name, the Lord bless. See you later. Bye-bye.